New air passenger protection regulations are now in effect in Canada. Starting today, airlines will be required to rebook passengers or issue a full refund for delays or cancellations, even if the reason is outside the airline's control. It is welcome news for passengers, but airlines are pushing back against the new policies. I think it's a great idea. I like that idea. I think that the passengers uh, have been messed around a lot, so we need some protection. It's no secret, travel has become grueling this year, with frequent delays and cancellations creating difficult experiences for passengers right around the world. In Canada, the pressure is now on airlines to get it right. Ultimately, I think they're responsible if we're flying through them. These were the rules until today. Airlines had to rebook or refund passengers for flight cancellations and delays of three hours or more if the disruption was in their control and not related to safety, like oversold flights. But starting today, airlines will have to refund passengers even when the issue isn't in their control for problems like weather. The rules require them to rebook passengers on a new flight within 48 hours or they must offer a full refund. And that's a lot fairer because in a sense, if the airline doesn't fly, it's not fair that the airline gets to sort of keep the money and the passenger then has to go through a huge rigmarole to either get a credit or get rebooked. But airlines have been pushing back on the policies that they say single them out. Flight disruptions could be caused by uh, security lineups, by delays at the custom and immigration uh, desks, by the airport infrastructure itself, say the baggage carousels, a whole number of reasons. These regulations don't account for those whatsoever and instead put the entire burden of responsibility on the airline. In a statement, WestJet says we are disappointed the changes do not reflect the shared responsibility that all parties involved have in the travel journey. When you're looking for a regulation like this, you kind of have to try to balance the needs of both sides. So the way it was before was completely skewed in the airline's advantage. And now, in a way, the costs are being shared to a degree. But passengers are worried the cost will eventually trickle down to them anyways. Absolutely. Either way, we get it. <laughs> From its beginning to end, or they'll hide the cost in... Um however they want to word it on your ticket. The original regulations were established in 2019 before demand for travel collapsed due to the pandemic. Some travelers we spoke with today actually don't think the rules go far enough, saying the 48-hour window is too long, especially for those traveling for shorter periods of time. However, they do believe it is a step in the right direction. For City News, I'm Tina Yazdani.